Where do steam trains sleep at night? By Brianna Kaplan Sayers, illustrated by Christian Slade. Where do steam trains sleep at night? After puffing down the tracks, do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just before bed snacks? Where do snowplow trains sleep? After all the tracks are clear, do their moms say, plow your toys, kids. Bedtime's almost here. Where do passenger trains sleep? Once they've dropped off girls and boys, do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? A cuddly bedtime Where do toys. freight trains sleep at night? When cargo's reached its destination, do they rest on Daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Where do monorails sleep? It's, it's an airplane. It is an airplane. And Grammy go riding. Oh, Grammy does ride airplanes. Once their one-track trips are done, do they sway to sleep on sky-high tracks beneath the setting sun? Setting sun. Where do fire trains sleep when they're heroes of the hour? Do dads hose them down with water in a special bedtime shower? Where do high-speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? Uh -huh. Where do breakdown trains sleep? Once they've put engines back on rails, do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? A rescue tale. Where do trolleys sleep at night? After shoveling through the streets, do mama trolleys ring their train bells for a lullaby soft and sweet? It's an orange. It is an orange. Where do... And the mouse. I do see the mouse, you're right. There he is. Where do sub -train sleep, subway trains sleep? Once they've reached their final stop, does the street become their blanket? A quilt of city lights on top? I like that. Do trains gather in a roundhouse or a freight yard or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress. The tracks become their bed. But they have a special blankie and an oh-so-bright night light. They sleep beneath the crescent moon and a sky of stars so bright. Where do your trains sleep at night when you've drifted off to dreamland? Well, maybe all your choo-choos are fast asleep in steamland. The end. Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. We love bedtime stories, don't we, William? Yeah. yeah, we sure do. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel did it. The end. That old chicken interrupted. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. 
Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Uh-oh, did she interrupt again? Chicken, don't interrupt. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories. And you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story and I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm. The sky was falling when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn! So Chicken Little didn't. The end. What did she do again, William? Did she interrupt? Yeah. Oh, no. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Oh. Then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story? said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all night. Papa? Oh, he's sleeping. Good night, Papa. The end. Oh, that's sweet. Ah! Ah! And then make it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.